Thank you for the, uh, the morning the input for the salka. Uh huh. And uh, you've known about my technique for a while, and you've been following it mostly, right? Well, I'm. You are. Yeah. Interpreter or translator. Yeah. When you do the technique in Japan. Yeah. So I understand clearly. Yeah. But the knowing it and doing it are two separate things. Especially after three years in COVID, the other sense, hard to get the ice time. Certainly, everybody can relate to these sorts of things. And when you lose the feeling and you haven't done something for a while, uh, then there's a little fear element that comes into it, a little, little safety and, and what, whatnot, and then a little frustration. It's, it's, it's a lot to you know rebuild your technique, especially you don't practice every day. Well, last week, the, in the past week, you have been practicing every day. Yeah, actually, in my case, um, I had a concussion <laughs> crash on the ice with you, right? At the overstop yeah, competition. That was a, a really freak accident. Yeah, 2018. Uh, we were the only people on the ice. It was the very end of the session. I came out of a spin in my choreography with speed to get into my next thing. And then all of a sudden, oh my God, Ryoko's there and I don't have time to stop. And so we had an unfortunate collision there. So actually, I haven't got the Bosako back after that concussion. I couldn't see, I couldn't, you know, I felt really dizzy. Then COVID starts. So, and now I have Axel, but I forgot double salvo, how to yeah. put it together. Uh, in my case, it's not the fear, it's not the techniques, it's more about the uh, strength. So I try to practice what you said in our morning input, and then I think I need a very good core muscle. So if you can give me some suggestions, I'm going to demonstrate here. Yeah, well, those core muscles are quite important and we all know some exercises we can do crunches or sit ups, for example, or, or, you know, leg raises or something for this or lying on your back doing leg scissors, which also works your adductors and your crotch, those kind of muscles that help you bring your legs together for, uh, you know, jumping. Especially on a sow cow, right? You start from a wide position, wide position. Then you go tight with arms and legs. So you have to have a certain amount of strength and muscles in that part of your body, right? But this is often, doesn't have to be, it, this could be any skater who wants to make progress. It often is the case that your coach can tell you over and over and over again, you can understand, you can even do, try to do but you don't succeed because you're not strong enough. You don't have the muscles, you don't have the body. That often is what's the limiting factor as far as getting things done. For me, it's something I have to deal with as well. We all have to deal with recognizing that our body can be the limiting factor, our strength, our alignment, our you know pain places and these kinds of things, yeah. So, no, but I think just from watching your South Cow, I think you, apart from that, I think you can get your technique actually a little bit better with what I talked about, the free leg action. Yeah. Okay. I think what Ryoko is doing is the same as what a lot of people do. The common mistake that people make on South Cows is that they bring on the takeoff both legs around instead of only the free leg coming around. So after the three turn, the free leg comes around, right? And I, I don't think you want to pull this leg around. If you, if, if you pull this leg around while you're trying to take off, this edge goes too curvy. Uh, it often goes uh, scratchy and it, 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 it messes up the jump. So you have to, I think you have to practice that free leg action real cool. Around, yes. That's what I think you need to be able to do to do to the double. You want to do that single now with that free leg action? Yeah. It's 
Christmas? You see, I don't think it's necessary to change your technique at all now to do the double south cow. Um, in order for me to do this motion, my lower extreme has to be stable, core has to be really strong. So, Yeah, those are kind of two separate things. You can still make the free leg action without having a strong core, but of course a strong steady core. If you don't have a strong steady core, free leg is more likely to be some random wobbly action. Yeah. And maybe I can do this, right? Yeah, let me see how your arms turn going into the jump. Try not to turn it too much as you go into it. Let it glide, let it glide, and jump. Try to feel, uh, I think, the congruency of the positions for over the three turn. I think you should also have, for a beautiful jump, I think you should have a congruency of timing so that your these two edges are kind of more or less have some rhythm to it.